What's up on team? It's your boy, someone that's back again. I'm here today at Bebbington Station here on the Wirral. And in today's video, we're going to be having a look at the Mersey Roll. And you're going to be joining me. So, uh, let's go. Welcome to Merseyside, home of Mersey Rail. This is the region's urban rail system. Formed of two lines, the Northern and the Wirral lines, plus a general third one, the City Line, which we'll touch on later on, these trains serve 68 plus stations branching out from Liverpool city centre, across the city, under the Mersey and into the Wirral and through to Cheshire. Founded in 1977, Mersey Rail was formed by linking multiple electric railway lines together and running them through tunnels under Liverpool and Birkenhead. These were segments of the Mersey Railway, Cheshire Lines Committee Railway, Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, the Wirral Railway and the Birkenhead Joint Railway, which were pieced together to form the system we have today. The system makes use of the Mersey Railway Tunnel, built in 1886, which was the first tunnel built under the river. Following the cuts by this man, once again, Liverpool City Council came to the rescue, proposing to save some of the suburban services that were earmarked for closure, and developed the idea for the city's suburban railways. This was eventually called the Loop and Link Project, consisting of the Wirral and Northern Lines respectively. Operated jointly by the Liverpool City Region and Circo Bellio on the franchise, the system also incorporates the City Line, which is basically the regular commuter network around Liverpool, operated out of Lime Street Station. So, this includes EMR, London Northwestern, Avanti West Coast and Northern Rail services up to a certain boundary to places like St Helens, Highton and onwards to Warrington, Manchester and Crewe. The Northern Line runs from Hunts Cross to the south, up through Liverpool Central, to Southport, Ormskirk and Kirby. The Wirral Line heads out to the, the Wirral, travelling through a one-way loop around the city centre, across Mersey, branching off in Birkenhead to New Brighton, West Kirby, Ellesmere Port and Chester. Trains run from around 5.30am till half past midnight, with services starting later and finishing early on Sundays. At time of recording, Mersey Rail utilise a set of Class 507 and 508 PEP EMUs, 57 of them as far as I know. The 507 and 508s are formed of three cars each and can reach a top speed of 75 miles an hour. These trains have been running strong for over 40 years and you can defo hear and see it. Mersey Rail is odd, as the lines are powered by 750 volts DC third rail, which is common in the southeast but not anywhere else in the country. The trains are also interesting because they basically feel like metro style trains. There's no open door buttons, the doors are controlled by the guard or the driver, and they're normally formed as single three-car units, but sometimes double up, especially during rush hour. The service on the Northern and Wirral lines within Liverpool city centre and the core sections are very frequent, and are basically like a turn up and go service. However, as you branch out, the frequencies do get a bit wild, with some lines getting services every 20 minutes, and probably even 30 on a Sunday. It's another story with the city line which basically depends on the railway timetables lining up with your luck. It's quite easy to get around on the Mersey Rail. You basically use the same tickets you'd use on National Rail. However, if you wanted to act like a local, a pure scouser, oh that's a terrible accent, you get one of these, a Metro card. These cards replace the old Walrus cards which basically have the same function. You can load different tickets on the card like Saveway tickets, Trio tickets and more. I travelled around on a whole day Saveway ticket which permitted unlimited travel on buses, trains and Mersey ferries across Merseyside. I did find it a shame that it wasn't like a ticket that could top up for a single ride, you know, like an Oyster card or a Pop card. However, the news has come out that Liverpool City Region has now joined the Fair Affair Scheme campaign with Manchester City Region with a £2 single fare cap on all buses in the region. That is a massive step in the right direction. <coughs> Glasgow, <coughs> take note. Ugh. As with many other railway systems in the UK, Mersey Rail is getting a lovely upgrade. As I record this, brand new four car class 777 Stadler Metro units are being tested vigorously before their eventual introduction around the start of 2023. A total of 44 trains are being built and the new trains will feature open gangways, air conditioning, modern passenger information systems, plug sockets, Wi-Fi and level boarding at all stations with some sliding step thingy that adjusts when it gets into a station. There are also a number of new stations and extensions planned for Merseyrail. Recently in 2018, the new Magol North station opened up 
and there's a new extension past Kirby out to Headbolt Lane due to open in 2023. The new trains are planned to be fitted with battery power to travel on the unelectrified lines out to New Station. As a matter of fact, there are new stations in the Baltic Triangle and Vauxhall for the new Everton FC Stadium, which are proposed too. You see, I'm a fan of Merseyrail. It reminds me of London Overground just before they got the Class 378s. I do feel that the further out you go from Liverpool City Centre, the more inconvenient the frequencies are. But that's what happens when services split off to many destinations. They need to bring those new trains out ASAP-ish, because I'll hopefully be down there to catch a glimpse of them on their first few journeys. Well, you find me here at Kirby, on the end of one of the branches on the Northern Line. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, also subscribe, drop a comment what you want to see in the future. It's been your boy Summer Explores, and I'll catch you in the next video. Fiji water.